Did you know that Neanderthals, our distant cousins, once competed with us for resources? But they went extinct mysteriously some 40,000 years ago. Let's delve deeper to find the causes. Neanderthals, an ancient species of human relatives, existed for nearly 400,000 years before they mysteriously vanished. Around 40,000 years ago, the last known groups of Neanderthals disappeared from Europe, their primary habitat. The exact causes of Neanderthal extinction remain a topic of debate among scientists and researchers. Some evidence suggests that competition with Homo sapiens, our direct ancestors, might have played a significant role in their decline. When Homo sapiens ventured out of Africa, they encountered Neanderthals in Europe and Asia. Fossil records indicate that there was a period of several thousand years during which both species coexisted. In Spain's El Cidron cave, Neanderthal remains date back to 49,000 years ago, providing insights into their life and environment. Archaeological sites such as La Ferrasi in France have been instrumental in understanding Neanderthal daily life and culture. Climate change is another factor that scientists believe might have contributed to the Neanderthal's extinction. During the last ice age, Europe experienced significant cold spells, which could have impacted Neanderthal survival. In Gibraltar, Neanderthal fossils dating 28,000 years ago suggest they lived alongside Homo sapiens for some time. The Vindija cave in Croatia contains Neanderthal DNA, suggesting a relatively recent coexistence with modern humans. Over time, Homo sapiens may have had competitive advantages over Neanderthals, such as superior hunting techniques. Some theories propose that Neanderthals had a smaller population size, making them more vulnerable to external pressures. At the Grotte du Rennes site in France, artifacts indicate that Neanderthals had symbolic behavior and crafted tools. Despite their sophisticated tool-making abilities, it's believed Homo sapiens had more advanced communication and social structures. Recent genetic studies reveal that modern humans interbred with Neanderthals, indicating periods of interaction. The interbreeding may have occurred in the Middle East, where both species could have first met. As a result, modern humans outside of Africa possess approximately 1% to 2% Neanderthal DNA. This genetic mixing indicates that the two species didn't only compete, but also cooperated and integrated. However, repeated interactions with Homo sapiens might have introduced diseases to which Neanderthals had no immunity. At Shanidar Cave in Iraq, a famous Neanderthal burial site, pollen was found, hinting at possible funeral rituals. Some believe that Neanderthals' inability to adapt to rapid environmental changes made them susceptible to extinction. Others speculate that resource competition with Homo sapiens led to violent confrontations. It's possible that a combination of factors, including competition, interbreeding, and environmental changes, led to Neanderthal extinction. There's no evidence of large-scale warfare between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. Kabera Cave in Israel provides insights into Neanderthals' diets, revealing their reliance on large herbivores. Modern humans with their diverse diet might have been more resilient during food shortages. The Cima de los Huesos site in Spain contains the remains of 28 Neanderthals, offering clues to their societal structure. At sites like Grotte de Spy in Belgium, evidence indicates that Neanderthals were skilled big game hunters. However, Homo sapiens might have practiced broader dietary habits, including fishing and gathering, which offered a nutritional edge. Neanderthals had robust physiques, adapted for cold climates and demanding physical activities. Their large nasal cavities suggest an adaptation for warming and humidifying cold, dry air. Yet these adaptations might have been less effective during rapid climate fluctuations. Homo sapiens' more slender bodies and higher metabolic rates might have been advantageous in a variety of environments. The Denisova cave in Russia has revealed the existence of another ancient human group, the Denisovans, who also interbred with modern humans. Understanding the fate of Neanderthals could offer insights into the survival strategies of early human species. Some argue that cultural exchanges with Homo sapiens might have influenced Neanderthal behaviors and tool-making techniques. In Italy's Fumane cave, artifacts suggest that Neanderthals might have adopted some Homo sapiens technologies. Neanderthals' symbolic behaviors like body ornamentation may have been influenced by interactions with modern humans. While Neanderthals had a broader skull and prominent brow ridges, Homo sapiens had a rounded skull and a prominent chin. Despite physiological differences, both species had a similar brain size, implying cognitive capacities were somewhat comparable. 
It's hypothesized that Homo sapiens' more complex language abilities provided them an edge in social interactions and strategizing. Regions like the Dordogne Valley in France have dense Neanderthal archaeological sites, showing their long-term occupation. However, as Homo sapiens' populations grew, they might have displaced Neanderthals from prime hunting territories. With the expansion of Homo sapiens into Europe, Neanderthal populations might have become fragmented and isolated. These isolated groups could have faced inbreeding, reducing genetic diversity and resilience. The Chateau Peronian culture in France indicates that Neanderthals were capable of producing sophisticated tools and artifacts. While both species use stone tools, Homo sapiens developed more diverse toolkits and hunting strategies. Some scientists suggest that a volcanic eruption 40,000 years ago in Italy may have accelerated Neanderthal decline. This eruption could have affected the climate, leading to a downturn in resources that Neanderthals relied upon. While Homo sapiens are often viewed as the culprits, it's essential to remember that the Neanderthals' decline was likely multifaceted. Sites like the El Castillo Cave in Spain display early art, hinting at the cognitive abilities of these ancient inhabitants. Yet, the global spread of Homo sapiens might have overwhelmed local Neanderthal populations over time. Through genetic studies, we're unraveling the intricate history of human evolution and our shared heritage with Neanderthals. By understanding the past, we gain insights into the adaptability and resilience of human species. Though Neanderthals are extinct, their legacy lives on in our DNA, reminding us of our interconnected history. I hope you like Evo Inception's attempt to bring short videos trying to explain our human evolutionary process. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.